Measure the length of segment AB to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. To measure the length of this segment, you can start by aligning one mark on your ruler with A. For example, you can align A with 2. So the coordinate of A is 2. Next you need to estimate the coordinate of B. B appears to align with 4 and 6 tenths. Now, by the ruler postulate, the distance between points A and B is equal to the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of A and B. Let x1 equal 2 and x2 equal 4 and 6 tenths. You can substitute these values in for x1 and x2. When you simplify, 4 and 6 tenths minus 2 gives you 2 and 6 tenths, and the absolute value of 2 and 6 tenths is 2 and 6 tenths. Therefore, the length of segment AB is about 2 and 6 tenths centimeters. Plot the points P, negative 4, 3, Q, 3, 3, R, negative 1, 4, and S, negative 1, negative 2 in a coordinate plane. Then determine whether segment PQ and segment RS are congruent. To plot point P, negative 4, 3, Plot a point that lies 4 units to the left of the origin and 3 units up. To plot point Q, 3, 3, plot a point that lies 3 units to the right of the origin and 3 units up. To plot point R, negative 1, 4, plot a point that lies 1 unit to the left of the origin and 4 units up. To plot point S, negative 1, negative 2, Plot a point that lies one unit to the left of the origin and two units down. Now, to determine whether segment PQ and segment RS are congruent, you need to find the length of each segment. Because segment PQ is a horizontal segment, the length of segment PQ is equal to the absolute value of the difference of the x-coordinates of the endpoints. The x-coordinate of point P is negative 4, and the x-coordinate of point Q is 3. So the length of segment PQ is equal to the absolute value of 3 minus negative 4. When you simplify, 3 minus negative 4 gives you 7, and the absolute value of 7 is 7. So the length of segment PQ is 7. Next, because segment RS is a vertical segment, the length of segment RS is equal to the absolute value of the difference of the y-coordinates of the endpoints. The y-coordinate of point R is 4, and the y-coordinate of point S is negative 2. So the length of segment RS is equal to the absolute value of negative 2 minus 4. When you simplify, negative 2 minus 4 gives you negative 6, and the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. So the length of segment RS is 6. As you can see, the length of segment PQ is not equal to the length of segment RS. Therefore, segment PQ is not congruent to segment RS. A. Find the length of segment XZ and B. Find the length of segment CD. To find the length of segment XZ and segment CD, you can use the segment addition postulate. This postulate states that if B is between A and C, then the length of segment AB plus the length of segment BC equals the length of segment AC. In part A, point Y is between X and Z. So, by the segment addition postulate, the length of segment XY plus the length of segment YZ equals the length of segment XZ. From the diagram, you can see that the length of segment XY is 14 and the length of segment YZ is 27. 14 plus 27 gives you 41. Therefore, the length of segment XZ is 41. In part B, point C is between B and D. So, by the segment addition postulate, the length of segment BC plus the length of segment CD equals the length of segment BD. From the diagram, you can see that the length of segment BC is 19 and the length of segment BD is 25. To find the length of segment CD, you can subtract 19 from both sides of the equation. This gives you the length of segment CD equals 6. 
Therefore, the length of segment CD is 6. The cities shown on the map lie approximately in a straight line. Find the distance from Sacramento, California to San Bernardino, California. To find the distance from Sacramento, California to San Bernardino, California, first label Sacramento as point S, Fresno as point F, and San Bernardino as point B. Now, on the map, the distance from Sacramento, California to San Bernardino, California is equal to the length of segment SB. To find the length of segment SB, you can use the segment addition postulate. Point F is between points S and B. So, by the segment addition postulate, the length of segment SF plus the length of segment FB is equal to the length of segment SB. From the map, you know that the length of segment SF is equal to 158 miles and the length of segment FB is equal to 230 miles. 158 plus 230 gives you 388. So, the length of segment SB is equal to 388 miles. Therefore, the distance from Sacramento, California to San Bernardino, California is 388 miles.